Hello, everybody again. Uh, now, uh, I've been talking about interviewing and getting together with all friends. Now, uh, what I want to do is is pay respect to somebody tonight who is one of my best friends and uh, one of the, the great friends of music in London, Ontario. Herr Grasser, Walter Grasser, the Austrian mustache turned up at the ends and twisted and uh, what a smile. He had the best smile and the best hug. I think he invented the warm hug. I first met Walter when he was running a recording studio in London called uh, Track 4. And he recorded, obviously, musicians from around the area. And when we stumbled upon each other and he came to Smale's Pace, we immediately became very close friends. And, and he was very supportive. Uh, that's the word I always have to use. He was always there lunch every day. He was always there on opening night, which was very, very important to be supportive on opening night because let's face it, a lot of the acts I was bringing to town had never played London before. And so there wasn't a lot of name recognition and we needed that, that kind of um, people talking it up. Now, uh, that was... Walter's uh, faithful, loyal, genuine, and, and spirited approach to everything. He went on to uh, open a, uh, or not to open, pardon me, he went on to become manager of entertainment at Western University. So he was in charge of uh, anything that had entertainment on stage and he would look after the contracts and all the arrangements. Now, at one point, we needed a, a sound system at, at uh, Smale's Pace to sort of match the kind of talent that was on the stage and Walter knew I couldn't afford it and he came up with a scheme to have a benefit concert called Cedar Lake and Cedar Lake was a, uh, a collection of seven uh, music acts that typically played at Smale's Pace sitting on the stage trading off songs in a, in a very uh, folksy and, and warm way it went over so well and we did manage to raise enough money to to build a custom homemade sound system. The next thing that Walter did was he recognized the fact that uh, for live music to survive year round in a place like Smale's Pace, it needed more brand awareness and more awareness to the public that there was this place downtown that uh, had quality music. And he thought, well, what better way to do that than to have a, a yearly festival where uh, people would see the, the quality of acts on, on the larger stage and with workshops, etc. So we put together a, a, a band of brothers, as it were, uh, to uh, do the planning and to get this th through to City Hall. So there was a collection of, of influential people in the uh, media business, other in, in print, television, or radio, uh, and, and other people that could help shepherd this through to get approval at City Hall for this to be an, an annual event at, uh, at downtown Victoria Park, which it did happen. The first one was in 1974. Uh, now, moving on from there, Walter then, uh, he was a friend of all the musicians, of course, and he had a, a strong friendship with Dave Bradstreet and went on to, to manage Dave for many years and was very influential in helping him uh, get his uh, first recording contracts and you know uh, there, there's pictures here and, and in fact um, there's a picture at the top there with the the late great Billy Hughes Doug MacArthur sitting beside him in the, in the blue shirt and then there's Walter without a shirt on again smiling um, there's a picture below the track for sound production one with Walter, uh, with his arm around Moe's Scarlet. Uh, Moe's also passed on, oh my goodness. And then there's this beautiful picture of Walter. It's a bit grainy, but hey, you gotta work with what you got. Uh, grainy picture of Walter with that infectious smile. Now, I don't like to have regrets in life, but one regret I do have in life is not staying in touch with the people that have meant so much to me. And, and I think maybe it's just part of life that we get busy and this comes on our plate and that. And for that, I, I apologize because it's people like Walter who I wanted to stay in touch with. But I am saying, Walter, thank you. I love you. Thank you on behalf of all of us. Good night, Mrs. McGullicutchie.